So we finally got to see Luffy's gear for this chapter. It was worth the wait. We waited for two weeks for order to release this chapter. And I'm glad we finally get we finally have it. First of all, the design of Gear Ford looks so amazing here. Yeah. It's like Luffy from Luffy's Luffy from it's like Nightmare Luffy from Thriller from the Thriller, Thriller Bark Arc, but with Arnold and Taki, and it looks really badass. So the chapter started off with everyone escaping the Burning Age, and then we get to see Luffy activate Gear Ford against Do for Bingo. Luffy was bowing his hands and and then his hands and then his hands became bigger yeah. and then he used armor with hockey on his arms and legs that's how he transformed into gear 4 he calls this uh, new gear gear 4 the pound man I think it was Pounce Man because, it, 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 because in, in the other translations it was called Bounce Man for some reason. But I'm pretty sure it's Pound Man. So Luffy starts attacking Dopamine when it's new here. And use one of his new moves, the Gum Gum Kong Gun. That move is literally like a gun. So Luffy's hands goes inside, goes inside his arms. Then he fires it like a gun. He hits Dofamingo in the face and it sends him, it sends him flying. Yeah. That was so powerful. Luffy has really gotten stronger in this chapter. And then Luffy kicks Dopamine hard in the face with one of the uh, new Gear Ford moves as well. I think that move was called Gear Ford Gum Gum Rhino something. Yeah. It sends Dopamine. It's. It sends Dopamine flying again. Yeah. And the awesome thing that Luffy did in this chapter was he used his new gear to fly. Yeah. Seems like Luffy can fly now with his new gear. And that's a huge improvement to his. to his power, yeah. Luffy then chases off on being a but Dopamine uh, attacks him. Then Luffy kicks Dopamine, but Dopamine comes back with his hamstring move. Yeah. And then Dopamine went at it again, but Luffy's arm stretched out, yeah. And punched him in the face. That was one of his new moves as well. And that's where the chapter ended, yeah. So overall it was a pretty good chapter. We finally got to see Lucas here fourth. It was pretty OP. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. No filming no, was no match with, against Luffy in this chapter, yeah. He was just getting beaten to, to fall by Luffy. I think in the next chapter, definitely might use his ultimate move Luffy.
Yeah. Because all, all the moves that he did in the chapter was, they didn't work against him. So he has to use a stronger move in order to, dam to do some damage to the But the awesome thing about Luffy's Gear 4 is he, has, he hasn't reached the full extent. Yeah. His Gear 4 hasn't reached the full extent. The full power. His Gear 4 hasn't reached the full extent, yeah. So Luffy might have some stronger moves within the sleeve in the next chapter, yeah. Who knows? Maybe the next chapter we will finally see Don Flamingo defeated by Luffy. And that would probably end the whole Just Rose arc. But I think this fight would go on for the next three. It would go on for, for three more for the next three chapters, yeah. At least three chapters, yeah. So, what do you think of Gear 4, guys? Did you like the design? Was it better than the other gears? Did you hate it? Did you like it? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you have questions, just post it uh, in the comment section below as well. So yeah, that's my whole take on this crazy epic chapter of One Piece. Subscribe and hit like if you enjoyed watching this video. This is my Dark Chia signing out. See you guys next time. That gear fourth greatness though.